February 26th, 2022, Saturday of the seventh week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, is anyone among you suffering? He should pray. Is anyone in good spirits? He should sing a song of praise. Is anyone among you sick? He should summon the presbyters of the church, and they should pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick person, and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed any sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore confess your sins to one another, and pray for one another that you may be healed. The fervent prayer of a righteous person is very powerful. Elijah was a man like us, yet he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and for three years and six months it did not rain upon the land. Then Elijah prayed again, and the sky gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. My brothers and sisters, If anyone among you should stray from the truth, and someone bring him back, he should know that whoever brings back a sinner from the error of his way will save his soul from death, and will cover a multitude of sins. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Let my prayer come like incense before you. O Lord, to you I call. Hasten to me, hearken to my voice when I call upon you. Let my prayer come like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands like the evening sacrifice. Let my prayer come like incense before you. O Lord, set a watch before my mouth, a guard at the door of my lips. For toward you, O God, my Lord, My eyes are turned. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of life. Let my prayer come like incense before you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these, such as these. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced the children and blessed them, placing his hands on them. The Gospel of the Lord.